Good morning, this is Julie from Totally Holistic Health and I'm just going to do a really nice breakdown of a really nice pose to do. Um, this is called Sukhasana or Easy Pose um, and it's very very simple, it's, it's more of a just a, obviously a, a cross-legged posture. Um, so obviously depending on um, how your hips are feeling, you might feel a little bit of tightness in here. What you can do is use um, uh, either a yoga block or you can use a cushion just to pop underneath your bottom. And what that does, it just raises the bum up and it just helps the knees come down. Now it's very much a case of, you know, obviously we don't, you know, you don't have to have your legs quite so close, you can have them slightly further away again, so it's a little bit more of a, an open posture. And obviously depending on how your legs feel, you can sort of change the, the cross of the legs at certain points. Um, one thing you need to remember with this one, really trying, what we're trying to do is actually just tilt the pelvis a little bit. So we really need to have that lovely forward posture with the, with the pelvis. So we're not actually crouching back like this. We're trying to have a lovely upright posture. And I always find it's really nice. Just imagine we've got a lovely long silver thread coming up the top of the head. that draws the head over the heart and the heart over the pelvis. So again, we are engaging that core a little bit. Um, and the, really, the benefits with this one, really, it's just a really nice way of opening up the chest. Again, mobilising the hips. Um, if you do have issues with knees, again, just to make sure that you maybe sort of have more of an open posture here. And also it does, does help, obviously, raising up the bottom as well. Um, and there's quite a lot of things you can actually do with um, easy pose. Again, in terms of sort of just a really, really gentle practice, if you just want to, you know, it's really nice if you just do it maybe first thing in the morning, if you just want to get onto a mat and just do a little bit of stretching. What you can do is just bring one hand to the side so really what we're trying to do is open up the chest. Again, most yoga postures tend to be opening up the chest. We're not trying to bring that shoulder forward. We're trying to open up. So if you bring the other arm and pop that behind your back, it just brings that chest open. What we're going to try is maybe just have the elbow crease facing upwards. We're just going to maybe bend that elbow crease. And it just opens up that side body and you should feel a lovely stretch in that side body, which is really nice. You can just see how that feels. I mean, you might only feel you can go just a little way, which is absolutely fine. You really need to listen to what your body is telling you. So it's really your practice. Do what feels right for you. Um, but what you can do, obviously, if you feel a little bit more flexible, you can just walk the little fingers out. And again, just bend a little bit more and just see if you can bring the elbow down onto the floor. But again, it's your practice. Do what feels right for you. And if you do feel up to it, your shoulders are okay. Just bring the arm over the head. And again, just increase that stretch a little bit more. And then come back to centre. And this is actually quite nice just to maybe cross the leg, change the cross the legs now as well, because you do get used to being um, in one, one way, it's always a lot easier than the other. So it's always quite nice just to mix it up a little bit. So we're going to move to the other side. So again, bring that hand back to the side with your elbow crease facing upwards. Again, maybe bring the other arm behind the hip just to open up that chest a little bit. And I'm just going to just release it into that side. Again, that lovely stretch. Let's feel that lovely stretch in the ribs. Just opening up that side body. Also, it's quite nice just to push away a little bit with that back bottom hand. It just helps keep the buttocks on the, on the ground. And again, if your shoulders are feeling up to it, just bring the arms overhead. If not, just keep them where they are. It doesn't matter. And just feel that stretch a little bit more. And then come back to centre. Now you tend to find with, with yoga, you tend to do uh, movements tend to be side to side and backwards or forwards as well. So you do tend to find you have these counter poses. So once you've gone one side, it's always advisable to do the other side. And also if you're going forward, you can go backwards as well. So if you are going to come forward, again, we need to keep that front body nice and long. So just imagine you just put your hands on the floor. If you're struggling to put your hands on the floor, just get a little book or something or um, like a cushion or something so you can have your hands here. We're not trying to curve down. We're trying to keep that lovely long front body. Again, engaging that core, bringing the belly back to the spine also helps and also just protects the lower back a little bit. Again, we're just going to breathe into that. And then with each out breath, just see if you can release Maybe slightly more, coming down. That feels good for you. And then we're going to walk the hands back. And again, I'm just going to bring the hands behind us. I personally find it's easier to do my fingers facing forward, but obviously body geometry maybe um, means that you want to put your hands behind you, facing away from you, but obviously going what feels nice for you. So we're going to bring the hands just behind our bottoms, 
We're just going to open up that chest. So trying to draw the shoulder blades together, just opening up that back chest. It's not so much a back bend, it's really a case of just bringing those shoulder blades together. It's more of an opening up of the chest. Try to keep the neck in line or the head in line with the shoulders in the back. Take a few breaths there. And back to centre. Again, it's always nice to cross the legs the other way if you're coming forward because you will find it opens up the hips a little bit more as well. So I'm going to come forward again. Just going to keep that lovely long front body. Just imagine you've got headlights on your chest. And we're trying to keep those headlights coming forward. And you might find if you're actually on the, the more the side you're not used to crossing, it probably might be a little bit more restrictive into the hips as well. So I tend to find it's I, I can feel that in my buttock, which is again, as long as you're not hurting yourself, it, you know, it's a nice double stretch. So we're going to come forward again. So just be aware of the breath. And again, if the, once you once you have an out breath, you might find it releases the hips a little bit more. So again, just feel if you want to come forward again, but it's not a competition. It's just really a case of just listening to what your body tells you. And then walking the hands back again. And again, we're going to go back again. So again, whichever way you want to put your hands, either facing forward or facing back. And again, we're going to bring the shoulder blades together. So maybe sliding those shoulder blades down the back. Opening up that chest. And then releasing and coming forward. Brilliant. So it's a really lovely practice to do. I mean, sometimes when I, I tend to get on my yoga mat most days, but sometimes that's all I want to do. I just want to sit. Um, and it, again, it just opens up the hips. It's really good just to engage the core a little bit as well, because obviously you do need, you know, we'll give it a little bit of a strength in there as well. It's just really relaxing, really opening up the chest. It helps with the breath. Um, so even just very simple yoga movements like that will really, really help you. So we just build up a little bit every day. Um, if you need any help or any questions, please feel free to get back in contact with me. So until next time, namaste.